very sad. Storm has died. Storm has died and I'm gonna show you his carcass, I guess, because that's all I can do. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. There is a beautiful picture of our little farm out there, all covered in smog. Ah! and Levi eating my plant. It's gonna be in the pluses today. So super warm out there. It's gonna be all mud. We are about to see what this farm looks like in the mud. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. It is the crack of dawn, meaning it's before 8 a.m. and the girls and I are up and we are getting ready to go to the barn because today this video is gonna be all about Stella. But before we start, we take one second to go back and reflect on the whole Gabby and Storm situation from yesterday. Like, amen. Thank you, God, for finally getting her and Kaylee and Fiona. But, um, yeah, thank God she finally is trusting him and he is trusting her. And she's getting him forward and fast over those jumps. Just making my coffee. Anyways, um, yeah, we watched that video so many times last night. Like, she's in love. I'm in love. It was exciting. You guys had so many nice things to say, so thank you so much for that. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Girls are still getting dressed. Guys, do you hear it? Oh, look, 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 look. On the post, and they're on the. <laughs> the birds are out. There's still snow, but no one cares. And I'm not even cold. And I forgot to bring gloves, but my hands are toasty warm. This is what spring looks like in Canada, you guys. Yeah. This is the February thaw. Yeah. That does look like horse pee. Pretty sure that is horse pee. No, it's this mud. From the horse poop. Oh, it oh. Yeah, it's like if I don't need gloves, then it's, it's warm. Like it's like spring. It's like two degrees. <laughs> Stella, we're here for you. Hey, it's summer right now, right here. It's summer right now, today. Yeah. Love that horse over there. She loves people, that's all. Stella's a little pushy. She pushes her away from the food. She's like, it's all for me. Oh, Stella, it's like spring. Stella, you're gonna see the vet. The Shh, don't tell her. It's doctor time, Stella. Hi, Mare. And then there she goes. Yeah, Stella. We're not here for you. Wait, I'm petting the mare. Stella has attitude now. Come on, hurry, Soph. Just whip that thing on her and let's head out. Hi. Yes, I wish you were our horse because you are beautiful. Got to look, I'm the boss of her. Look, I'm the boss oh, of her. she's grooming me too. Oh, she is like that. Oh, that was so amazing. This horse is super responsive. All right, let's go. Come on, Stella. This is the day you get on the on the chubby scale. I'm in a spot where she wants to be rubbed and it's itchy. Yeah. She has such a nice owner That's too. What horses do in the wild. They groom them right here. Okay, come on, let's go. Both groom them. Bye, sweet girl. Bye. Okay, go. Just keep going. Don't worry about me. Get in there. Get her blanket off. Oh, she's soaked. Get her stripped down. Day, there was sun and there was rain. Guys, spring is in the air. Doesn't it feel like spring in here? All right, Stell. She doesn't look as fat now. She's so, getting 
want a little sour candies because she's doing so good with the noise. Okay, no treats. I know, that's all she's Stella, it's just, it's just they're grading the arena. So uh, today uh, is our vet appointment. You guys know that Stella's have, still have issues and our follow up was in January. So our vet appointment is today. She has been a little sore lately. That's why we haven't been riding her. We think she fell on the field. Um, race car driver did an, like, you know, looked her over and stuff and it's her right hip is sore instead of her left hock. So we're dealing with that um, as well as the weight. Um, we're also gonna ask to get her tested for Cushing's because um, even though she's not like retaining hair like crazy, sometimes Cushing's can go the other way and you can lose hair. Um, her crest is getting bigger. And I see her standing out in the field. I'm always like, wow, I can see that thing growing. So um, that's what's happening today with Miss Stella. Today is all about Miss Stella, who is coming home with us. When is Stella coming? Stella's coming in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Stella, you're coming home with us. Again, storm's coming. We don't know when storm's coming yet, but Gabby is. Gabby is, is taking it upon herself to say this. Said I said that's the earliest he could come home if you give and them notice. Did. It looks cold because you can see our breath. But in Canada, um, you can see your breath even in spring. Like Can Canadians are tough. Daddy. We're tough people. Sometimes we use thyroid powder. Yeah. Powder yeah, really yeah. Um, and I will say. I've only ever had good luck with it in cases where... Like a metabolic Well, issue. that and where they are able to, where they're not on like, you know, around bale or free choice hay or something like that. Because my, the issue that I've had in the past is you put them on thyroid powder, it increases their metabolism, it makes them hungrier, and yeah. then they eat more. Yeah. So I've actually yeah. had horses that I think have almost gained weight yeah. while on it because yeah. they just, get this voracious appetite so if, yeah. if we're not able to or not willing to do you restrict think weight wise what are you thinking so her crest has gotten a lot bigger since yeah, recently she, she she we lost a lot remember not caring. She might benefit from shoes right now. Okay, yeah, we can do um, that. Especially, especially front. Yeah. 
so soaking her hay. Is she on grain at all? So she gets um, grow and win. She gets one cup twice a day, and it's okay. just the vitamin kind of thing. But okay. I mean, I have no vitamin problem. Mineral. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's like the recommended on the level. Um, it. I don't know if it's the recommended. She she only gets it just so that we can put her supplements and her drop her pills and stuff okay. in there. Um, You're okay, Stella. Um, what do you recommend? Just like one uh, percent of her weight. Two percent is where like it's where the horse should be fed. We want her to lose weight. Yeah. So probably one, one and a half. Okay. Yeah. One that's is what we low. Were doing. Yeah. Um, okay. That's what we were doing. And before. and if we're taking one and a half and soaking it, we're actually giving a lot less. Okay. Um, we take out a lot of the sugars and minerals. So, yeah. um, so she needs to be on a mineral supplement. Yeah. But, and yeah, like all that stuff. Like, I mean, and there's really no end game. I'm like, it's not like okay, well, you know, in a month we have lost all this weight and now we can just keep it for like a regular. No, I know. She doesn't self-regulate. So no. I know. Um, I agree. And I mean, to me, she doesn't look like a Christian's horse. No, me neither. Um, at least testing is going to rule that out. Yeah. And. I mean, horses that have Cushing's and are metabolic are always more likely to have counter issues. Yeah. Um, so we, we test for it, and yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty simple to say, okay, yeah, yes, yeah. no, or maybe, because there is great area, but... Yeah. Uh, All right, Stella. So, you're going to get shoes? Wait, is she getting back shoes? Front shoes. Itching her in a spot that she loves. Horses normally itch each other, and then they ha like their bodies are like that, so they itch each other in yeah. the same spot. So that's what she's doing. She's itching you. <laughs> Come, Stella. Oh, yeah. That's Stella, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> very nice, horse. Who wants to rub, scratch you? Who wants to scratch you guys? Yeah, step closer. Smelling the camera. Sophia. Oh, she has her helper on that. I'm her baby. You're her baby? Yeah. My girl. Stella's pushing her away. I'm her baby and she's my baby. <laughs> Alright. Bye, Stella. So I was like, you guys love her more than me. Start Bye, Stella. With you. Bye, Stella. So I'm sure to get some loving. Didn't know that all that jumping yesterday would have killed Storm. And uh, it's very sad. Storm has died. Storm has died and I'm going to show you his carcass, I guess, because that's all I can do. It's... He died. Storm, are you awake? Or he's really pooped. One of the two. He's either dead or very tired. Oh, you're awake. Okay. He, no, he didn't die. He's alive. He's just resting. All that work he did yesterday. Just resting. Good news, he didn't die, he's alive. Oh, that's a relief. Abby, your horse died. Your horse is dead, did you see? He's dead, he's lying on a pile of hay. He's dead. Hold this too, hold this too, dead, hold this. What you do, you don't cuddle with him. goodbyes. You saying your last goodbye? I think you overtired him yesterday.
storm has died. Easy, easy on our tiptoes. Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> he found a, dr a dry spot of hay there and he's sleeping on it. <laughs> now he's getting up. Alright. Hey. Oh, you're alive, Storm. You're alive. Thank goodness. Now we were worried. What? Were you worried? No, he always lays down. I always cuddle with him. Oh. That's my third time. Now you can call the vlog. My horse is dead. No. <laughs> oh, there goes the field. I did. Yeah, pull it close to you. <laughs> Good job! That was hard. I forgot. Like, I was like, why is it? That moment that your husband let your kid drive because he's helping her take off the trailer. Lynn, amazing. She's nervous. I'm only 11 and now I know how to drive cars. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you have a farm? And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.